Oh, the golden age of Formula One, a time when a race car design was less about pandering to the mountains of regulations and more about raw ingenuity, creativity and unhinged engineering brilliance. Back then, automakers weren't forced to churn out glorified clones of one another, so when Mercedes-Benz got the chance to flex its engineering muscles, boy did they deliver. Enter the W196R. A car so absurdly cool, it decided it wasn't enough to just be a race car, it had to be a piece of art. With its sleek, streamlined bodywork, lovingly nicknamed Stromlinienwagen, say that three times fast, this machine was the embodiment of the mid-1950s design audacity. But wait, there's more, this wasn't just a pretty face, oh no, this beast had a pedigree. It debuted at 1955. Bueno Aires Grand Prix piloted by none of the other Juan Manuel Fangio, a man whose name is basically shorthand for legendary. Chase's number 9 of the W196R wasn't just there to make up the numbers, it strutted to the glorious 1-2 victory, Fangio leading the charge. Fast forward to the car Swan Song at the Italian Grand Prix and the story just gets better. Now under the control of Sir Sterling Moss, yes that Sterling Moss, the car rounded off its career with another 1-2 finish and the fastest lap just to rub salt in everyone else's wounds. Talk about going on with the bang. Now you might think that the car with this much racing glory would be snapped by collectors immediately. Nope, Mercedes-Benz being Mercedes-Benz decided they just hang on all 10 remaining examples of the W196 because, well, why wouldn't you? These weren't just cars, they were trophies. They kept them in working order too, because even when you're showing off, reliability matters. Eventually though, Mercedes felt generous and donated a handful to places like the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Foundation, including this particular chassis. Since then, it's undergone a couple of refinishes because hey, even legends needs a touch up now and then. Here's where things get spicy, according to RM Sodebis, this is the only strong Linienwagen that has ever been offered for private sale. That's right, it's kind of an opportunity you read about once, cry about missing out and then drink yourself to sleep over. It's one of just four known W196Rs still rocking the Streamlink body from the end of the 1955 season and the price tag a cool 55 million dollars plus peanuts really when you consider the history and sheer magnificence of the sting. To give the numbers some context, let's take a moment to remember the Mercedes 300 SLR Unlenhaut Coupe which sold for a jaw dropping 193 million dollars two years ago, setting a record as the most expensive car ever sold. Sure, this W196 isn't quite that rare, but its track record in racing history is second to none. Honestly, RM Sotheby's could probably slap 60 million price tag on this thing and collectors will be still fist fighting for the privilege to own it. So there you have it folks, a car that isn't just a vehicle, but a time machine back to the Formula 1 was pure, unfiltered innovation. If you got a spare 55 million dollars lying around, maybe skip that yacht upgrade and get yourself a piece of motorsport history. As they say, you can't put a price on legacy, except you totally can, and it's a big one.